Hi and welcome to this quick AC coding tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can get uh, a histogram in JMP running. So uh, first thing you want to do is open up your copy of JMP. Hopefully it's just on your desktop, but I'm sure you can figure that out on your own. So uh, you probably acquired this on your own or either through the university. I acquired this from my university uh, when I was taking my statistics course. So what you want to do is uh, get a new table of data. Um, that's right off the top here, or if this menu is not here for you, you can go File, New, and uh, Data Table. So um, the first thing I'm just going to do is I'm just going to do uh, fat, so as if this was food, right, for fat content. And I'm just going to give it um, a whole bunch of values. Um, I'm sure that your assignments or whatever will give you specific values to use. Okay. So um, now uh, you don't even have to drag over anything like you would in Excel. All you have to do is go to the top here where it says Analyze, Distribution, and then you're going to click on Fat here. So um, if you had more columns here like uh, Fat, Sodium, Vitamin C or something, uh, those would also be listed here. And then what you can do is when you click Fat, you can click Y Columns, and it gets added in to, uh, to your, the, 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 um, the analysis of the distributions. So uh, now afterwards under Actions, just click OK. Uh, so yeah, so um, now I have uh, I have two things here. I have a box plot and I have a uh, histogram. Now the box plot isn't actually uh, what I'm looking for. It displays both at once. So if you click on this red arrow, you can just go outlier box plot, get rid of that, and it'll go away. Just to make sure you see that, it's right there, outlier box plot, underneath the red arrow, not the blue one. And under display options, you can switch to a horizontal layout, so now you can see uh, where exactly uh, your histogram, like you can see your histogram a little bit better if it's the right way. Now, um, of course, because I have one outlier value that's uh, way out of the way, uh, my histogram looks a little bit funny, but uh, I'm sure you guys will see the point anyways and uh, understand how that works. Um, so yeah, from there you can actually just copy and paste this right into a uh, Word document. Um, you'll also see that it also that it already puts a lot more information in here for you. Uh, and it also puts um, uh, things like the mean, the standard deviation off of to the side. Now uh, you can either collapse those so you don't have to see them. And if you want to get rid of them entirely, I think if you click here, uh, you can actually get rid of them somehow. Uh, yes, right under display options, I uh, click that same arrow that we did the last time. Under display options, you can get rid of quant uh, quartiles, or quantiles, sorry, and movement. And uh, it gets rid of all that for you so you don't have to look at that. Uh, yeah. So uh, that's basically uh, how you use uh, how you can uh, make a histogram in JMP. I hope that's useful for all of you uh, first year stats students. And uh, this has been Casey for Casey Coding, and I'm logging off.